Possession on him. That's it. <laughs> I don't have them.
过晚。Acho a sonja kamu nina. Hejola hanya fe. Peace be unto you all. We thank the Lord for making it possible for us to be here. We're going to start our worship by our processional hymn. Thirty-two. Presbyterian hymn thirty-two.
This is the day that the Lord has done. Shall we rejoice and be glad in it? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will run into it and they are safe. We continue our worship by singing our Presbyterian hymn 6 1. The first three stanzas. Hallelujah. We're going to magnify our Lord. We're going to give him all the glory and adoration. He has done so much for us. We are in the month of December, from January up to December. How many months? Taking us through. Oh my God. Hallelujah. What shall we render to our God for all the wonderful things he has been doing for us? We are going to raise our voice and say, Daddy, thank you. We're going to raise our voice and say, oh, we love you, our Lord. We're going to raise our voice and say, ah, with you, all things are possible. Children of God, sir, we thank our Lord. Our Lord, we bless you, we adore you. We magnify you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is no God like you. There's no power like you. you done so much for us from January up to December. Oh, you've done so much. 
What shall we say to you? We say, Papa, oh, you are doing it. What can you tell one woman? No, yeah. What can one do? Yeah. Can you say, Boko Bay? Oh, for any baby, Baba, oh, how are you? One woman, one joy, one come for both. But you want young boy. With your things are possible. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your deliverance. We thank you for your healing. We thank you, Lord, for your favor. You make a way for our way. Things will be no way. This is our God, oh. This is our King, oh. May his name be magnified. May his name be glorified. We thank you, Lord. Oh, your come from my Oh, your demon my blood of Jesus. We could not acknowledge our sins. For it's our sin that separated from his glory, from his favor. Shall we confess our sins? Confess your sins. Those you know and those you don't know. Ask God to forgive you. Wash in the blood of Jesus. It's a blood that makes us righteous. The blood that gave her the power to stand before his mind to God. Wash in the blood. Sprinkle the blood oh, all Jesus. over the corners of this. Now, yeah, one quang. Yes, so the Holy Spirit, the power of the Most High God to take absolute control. As the word says, we well, two, three, gathered in His name, the power is there. Let's acknowledge His presence. 
Let's acknowledge his name. Let's salute him. Let's commit everything to his care. Shall we pray? Acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Salute the Holy Spirit. Embrace the Holy Spirit. The power of the Most High God is in our midst right now. We acknowledge you, our Holy Spirit, the power of the Most High God. We salute your presence. Commit the rest of the program to the hands of the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit to take absolute control of our gathering this morning. As it to come and strengthen us, empower us, lead us, and make all things wonderful to his name. Commit all activities. As we sing, we sing to his name. As we dance, we dance to magnify his name. And the book, the Bible will read is all to him. The word of God that is coming is all to glorify him in all the activities. Today we're going to baptize our children. It's all to his voice. And let the children come unto me, for they are the kingdom of God. Commit everything to his care that will be glorified. Commit our daddy into his care. That he will use him powerful, wonderful to his glory. Let's commit those who are here to join us. That the Holy Spirit will prompt them, will guide them safely to join us. In one verse, one accord with Hannah, his name. Holy, 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 holy God. Holy, 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 holy God. That you are the king. Holy Spirit, take absolute control of our gathering this morning. Everything should magnify your name. We pray in the name of Jesus that any power and any spirit that is from, not from you will stand against it and we rebuke that spirit. May the blood of Jesus cover us and protect us. All our walls we mark it with the blood of Jesus. May your name be prayed forever and ever. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father. Inspire us. Come and inspire us. Yes. Hallelujah. Bra Yesu Chain. Bra Yesu Chain. Bra Yesu Chain. No Beji Wo. Bra Yesu Chain. Can we be on our feet? Even as we welcome ourselves. 
Today is a special day, Presbyterian Sunday. Awa, awa, awa. Etu, etu, etu. Awa, etu. Awa, awa, awa. Etu, etu, etu. Awa, etu. Can we do it again? Bra, yes, chain. Bra, yes, chain.
So 
obedience to your words we have brought this we ask that as each and every one obey to bring the tenth of what you've given unto us may you use it for your own glory and may they never lack any blessing that will come with the giving of tithe in Jesus name I pray with thanksgiving amen The program is changed, so please, here we're going to listen to our readings. Readings. Hmm? No, I change. After this, then you read. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> English. Peace be unto you. Our reading is chosen from Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Matthew 1, 18 to 25. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to, marry, to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she found out that she was pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, she had her in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home and ask your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus, because he will come and save people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophets. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him, and the Lord had commanded him, and he, told, he took Mary home as the wife, but he did not consummate their marriage until they gave birth to the son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Amen. Amen. Asumjen kamu. 
Uma inti e uradi asem. Na seni a Yesu Kristu awutini. Wadene na Maria ma Yosef aware. Na wonye nshie munu. Wuhuni se oyem. Ni a efi hum kunkrum. Na ni kunu Yosef ye unipatene. Na on peso gune ni masi gwemunti. O boni tiri muse ube jan kukuyem. Na ori dream ring e yinumono, he e urade bofu yi no hochere no o daimu se Yosef da we di ba in suro se ubefa wu yere maria aba wun cheng na nia o ye muno no ifi hum krunkurung no be u ba bening na watu ni ding yesu ifi se onu no be yenim mang efi wong bonimu ni yi nyina ye na ni eurade na modi fu no so kan no abe mu se hwe abe ba no be nyin san na wa wo ba benin na wa to ni din imanuel a asichere ni se o nyankopon ene ye nwo ho na yosef fi na mu nyan eno o ye se ni eurade bo fu no she no 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 ko fa ni yere no ba ni nchen na wa hu no de kosi da o wo o ba benin na o tu ni din Yes, a radiant ceremony. Hey, Jolly, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Kaya shi ni mwai enyo ke enu mo Nya wobo wa nyumbo vye mwale towe Agbane boni Yesu Christu fomo le yone Enye maria le Bini Yosef eche ehiba Ni amenaku amehi shile Ana ake ihiye musu Keje mwomo kron kron le mwai Shi Yosef iwule Ake ni jalo jile Ni itawo ake Ebole awra Le itu ijin Ake Ewe ehe po Shibeni e joni ne ahele Nun chole bofu jie ehe po E chonle ye wola momlain Ni ikele ake Yosef David B Kashi unga maria le ngon beye Shin musuni ehe ne E jemu mokron kron le mlain E bafo binu ni owu le gbe ake Yesu E jake le ibahere iman le Yiwala keje amehi ishayele amli. Shi beni enefe ba koni noni nunchole yue ye balo le na le abamli ake na obla yuflo le ana musu ni efo binu ni awu le be ake imanwa ishi shiji nyongo kewoye ni beni yosef Tishin keje wole milen le Efe bo ni nun chole Bofu le ke ele le Ni ingon inga le Si ele ele a anhun Ke ya si bi yino ni Efo bi nun Ni yosef wole gbe ake Yesu Ni mbo yu mo le ne
Children, children service, we welcome you here. Good morning, children. How you doing? You're going to give us some memory verses? Okay. Psalm 23. The Lord is my, my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pastures. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Esther. Thank, Esther. Thank you. Psalm 119 verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Amen. Amen. Your name. Betsy. God bless you. Anyone else? You're going to give us a song. Okay. 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 We want to roll for God, so <laughs> let's start. <laughs> everybody, 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 everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. So the next song is we want to build a temple for God. So so let's start. So building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple. Building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord. Boys, come and help us. Girls, come and help us. Building up the temple of the Lord. Boys, come and help us. Girls, come and help us. Building up the temple of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give them clap offering. Thank you. Let me pray for you before you go. Let us pray. Father Lord, I commit these young ones into your mighty hands. Father, reveal yourself to them and remind them of your presence in their lives. Help them to rely totally on your Holy Spirit for guidance and directions. Father, surround them with people who encourage them and bring them up the way you, Lord, want them to be. Bless their teachers and their parents and give them the necessary tools 
to help these children. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. of God, we thank the Lord for making it possible for here to be, for us to be here this morning. We have a lot to do today. We have baptism and then forum, congregational forum this morning. Our topic today says the Holy One of God in our midst. The Holy One of God is in our midst. When we're talking about the Holy One of God, we're talking about the Holy Spirit. For the word of the Lord say, where two, three gathered in his name, the Holy Spirit is with us. Hallelujah. Just like we parents, we always want to be with our, uh, our children to protect them, to guide them, and make them happy. When we also gather as children of God, the Holy Spirit is here. He's here to protect us. He's here to strengthen us. He's here to guide us. He's here to favor us, to heal us, and also to bless in all the blessing of the Lord for us. Hallelujah. Our reading this morning says, Matthew 8, 20, going says, no, I'm, Matthew 8, 14. Matthew, first Matthew 18 to 25. I was reading the one for where the two or three gathered in this name is here. That is Matthew 8, 20. But our reading today is taken from Matthew 1, 18 to 25. It's talking about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Jesus was born, it has been prophesied a long time before he was born that a virgin will conceive and have a child, and his name shall be called Jesus. Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. A virgin is going to be conceived. And that is what we hear this morning. So the Bible says, Mary. The mother of Jesus was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Mary was a virgin, pledged to be married to Joseph. And as they were waiting for their marriage rite or the uh, get married to be performed, he was found to be pregnant. Wow. If it were you, we all know the story that he was already told that he's going to be pregnant. Though he was a virgin, he's going to be pregnant. Have you ever seen a virgin pregnant before? And you don't believe it. And that is impossible before us. But with God, I want you to answer me. But with God, all things are possible. Because he created the universe. And the power that created the universe has the power to do everything. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, the power of the Most High God, as you said, he is in our midst right now. It was that power that impregnated uh, Mary. So with that power, everything that we need can be provided. Hallelujah. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit is within us and it's in you and it's in me. He was found to be pregnant. He 
if you were being in the shoes of uh, Joseph, what would be your reaction? Our men here. What would be your reaction? Say your uh, your fiance pregnant, and you don't know anything about it. What would be your reaction? You thought he has committed adult fornication. So some of people they'll take gun and go and shoot. They want to kill. They want to destroy because the wife or the girlfriend had cheated on him. The same thing came on to Joseph. He was thinking, contemplating, what shall I do? By the word of the Lord, say, Mo, uh, Joseph was a faithful man. He was a good man, a loving man, a caring man, a man of God. And that is the man we have here. You are a wonderful man of God. Hallelujah. A caring man. Joseph, Joseph. You are all Joseph. Hallelujah. In the spirit, amen. And all the women are merry in the spirit. Hallelujah. So Joseph be a just man. He did not want to disgrace the wife. He did not want to shoot the wife. He did not want to. But he was thinking, I don't want to do, do anything bad because I love Mary. Though he has fornicated, that's what he was thinking because he did not know. Maybe even Mary told him the pregnant was from the Holy Spirit. He said, oh, come. Oh, he won't believe it. So as he was contemplating what to do, then because he was a just man, he said, I'm not going to disgrace my Mary. I will just divorce him quietly, secretly. Go to your parents, quiet. So as he was contemplating, the God who knows everything, the God who is in our midst now, the God that is with you, he knows whatever plan you have, whatever you are thinking, any bad thing or any good thing that you are thinking about, God knows about it, hallelujah. So as he was saying, no, I'm not going to kill my daughter, my wife, my fiancé, I'm not going to destroy her, but quietly. Then behold, the angels, oh, the angel arise in the dream as he was contemplating. God revealed himself unto him. Anytime you are planning something good, anytime you are praying, anytime, a child of God, you need a revelation. Hallelujah. We need revelation. God revealed himself unto um, uh, Joseph. He said, oh, Joseph, we have sinned. We have heard whatever you thinking about, you contemplating your thoughts. That said, whatever as I said, whatever you are doing, wherever you are, the eyes of the Lord is with us. It's on you, wherever you are. If it is that you are thinking and you have not done it, Joseph was just contemplating, thinking about what he was going to do by the angels, by the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit saw it and said, no, me, uh, Joseph, Don't be afraid. Don't do anything harm against as you are planned. And don't divorce her. Go and take your wife. Go and take your wife. For the uh, pregnant, it's from the Holy Spirit. It's not from fornication. It's not from adultery. It's from the Holy Spirit. So take your wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. For it has been prophesied a long time, Joseph, that a virgin will conceive and have a child. And that name will be called Jesus. So that prophecy has been fulfilled in the life of Mary. Hallelujah. Amen. That prophecy, it shall be called Emmanuel. The Lord is with us. So take your wife. So Joseph, walk out from the dream, from the sleep. Say, hey, I was dreaming. And what was the dream? Do you sometimes forget about your dream? God talked to us in our dreams. So don't joke with your dreams. If Joseph had forgotten about the dream or did not take it serious, see what will have happened. Take your dreams seriously. When you dream, wake up and write it down. And pray about it. And wait for what the Lord wants you to do. When you pray about somebody too, don't keep it. Pray about it and find a way of informing that person. Because God talked to us in a dream. He said, Joseph, take your wife. 
and really, according to what we read, what happened? She divorced. She drove her away. She's gone. But what? Welcome her wholeheartedly. This is what the Lord is expecting from us. This is what the Lord is expecting from us. So Joseph be a just man. He welcomed uh, the wife. And the most important thing is that he did not, according to the word we read, he did not touch him, no relationship throughout the nine months when she was pregnant. Hallelujah. I know about you, sir. Our men, over on your face, I can Over to me, I hear the men here. Say, nine months or one year, untouchable. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. But Joseph, so when he said he was a just man, faithful man, takes a lot. Was able to control himself throughout. Men, this is for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he took the wife until he gave birth. He did not touch him. Hallelujah. And the child was born. And the name was given Jesus. Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, this is a short sermon today because we have a lot. We are encouraging ourselves to be a just man, a loving man like Joseph. And we are praying that whenever you are facing any challenges or difficulties, Joseph was in difficulties, challenges, as some of us go through. Please, what do you have to do? Take your time and think about it. And let the Lord, Holy Spirit, advise you and take a good decision. And as you take good decision, God will direct you and God will make a way. Because it's a God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. It's a God that moves ahead and love and break and make a way for you. So let's continue to trust in our Lord, in our challenges and our difficulties. Focus on your God. Trust in him. He will del deliver you. He said in your waters, he will not leave you. In your fire, the fire will, burn you, will not burn you because the Holy Spirit will deliver you. The Holy Spirit will make a way for you children of God let's live a life that will glorify his name may the Lord bless you may the Lord strengthen you may the Lord cover you may the Lord protect you in Jesus name amen <laughs>
what do we say to Mama Katikis? Based upon the words of exhortation, tell you why Presbyterians do what we do. In the Presbyterian church, whatever is done should be based upon the word of God. That is why after the adoration and praises, we hear, we are quiet, we hear God speak. When God is spoken based upon that words of exhortation, we can fulfill all other things. We can give offering. We can baptize. We can do all other things. That is why in the Presbyterian Church, the word of God precedes all other things. After we have exalted him, he has taken his seat, and God will minister to us. What a presentation. Thank you so much. The name has been given. And today among us, we are going to give a name to a baby, and then the rest will be baptized. Joseph is an incredible man, an incredible human being. Somebody that he hears the angel has spoken, and he believes it just like that. Hey, this one there, and not so many men will never believe it like that. Too. <laughs> Joseph believed. And Joseph brought Aifro, hey, Aifro pa the bride to the room. This, uh, those days, it is not like hall and chamber. <laughs> the same room. And Joseph was there with Aifro for nine months. Joseph never touched this woman. Hey, this one is an incredible human being. And that is why God will raise person like this to take care of the most high God. Amen. It was not a mistake because God was coming down as a human being and he wanted a man to nurture him as a father. He will not just select anybody. What an incredible human being Joseph was. Mama, God bless you. God bless you so much. Uh, this morning we are going to give a name to a baby amongst us and then after that we will do a baptism uh, would some of the elders be with me here and then auntie uh, rose can you come up for All right, so uh, there is a baby among us. His father, how many kids are going to be named t this morning? Who, who and who? Let those who are going to be baptized, let them come up front. All those who are going to go through baptism, let them come up front. And we are going to also name a child. Okay, so Banjo Benny Fumra, Mimpezubi Jino Bien. Good. Would you sit here? Would you sit there for me? Uh, all those who are going to be named, you just sit there. Uh, there is a young, uh, there is a big, an infant, a baby is here who is going to be named. And you know, the, the, the family, their parents have traveled all the way from Boston and it's come. Uh, apparently, you know that I am a Busunya Penny in Insawam. So the child, the father says that this Abofra party, I want also for Kabino Fusuadu to name the child. See, they have traveled all the way from Boston and they are here. And they want the child to be named and the child to be baptized. And so in the company of others, we are going to do that. So uh, let, me, let me introduce to you uh, the parents, and then uh, we will do the baptism. Mr. and Mrs. Kwachi. And these are the persons from, you want to show yourself. 
uh, in his own, when he was a very young boy, I saw that uh, age of his life. He was very, very young. And almost every time you go to church, he was running around all the place. Kwachi has grown so huge and so tall. We call him authentic because uh, authentic, whatever he says, he thinks that he must be right and so authentic. And he is a photographer, he's an engineer, he's so many things. So almost everywhere you find him covering uh, pictures and videos and all that. Authentic and your wife. Thank you so much for coming. Now would you, would you bring the baby and tell us, Auntie Rose, you want to take the baby? All right, Auntie Rose, we cannot be here. All right, uh, you heard that when the baby, before the baby came, they named him. And uh, before Jesus was born, his name had already dropped from Amen. Isaac and his wife said that they called the child Isaiah. 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 And the father's name is. And so he will be Isaiah Chum. Is that right? Okay. And so when we do naming ceremony in Ghana, after you want to sow a seed into the child's life. When we finish, you want to sow a seed into the child's life because the child is going to be huge, he's going to be big. And he's going to be famous globally. So you get ready and you want to do that. You want to come closer here. Uh, Isaiah. You know, Isaiah the prophet was always shouting and saying that. That saith the Lord. And so he has started shouting. I think we want our guests. So if you can come this way, that should be fine. So that they participate Now, the parents have decided that the name to be given to this child is Isaiah. He was born on which day? Monday. So in the Ghanaian parlance, in Ghanaian arrangement, when somebody is Monday and is male, he's Kweju. And so Isaac Kweju Chum. Isaiah, Isaiah Kweju Chum. The name Isaiah is in the Bible. And so any name that is divine has the blessings of God. May the blessings of God upon Isaiah's life come upon you in Jesus' name. And Kwejo, hmm, Ghana, sometimes they take the name from somewhere else. Any good thing in Kwejo, May it come upon you in Jesus' name. His father, as I know him, he loves the Lord. So any good thing from the name Chum, from your grandfather, 
descended to the uh, your father and down to Chum, her son and now great grandson. Any good thing in Chum, I receive it unto you in Jesus' name. But if there is anything hidden that is no good, I take it away and throw it away in Jesus' name. Your name will be Isaiah Kweju Shum in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Kweju, this one is water. And Jesus is the living water. There is easy water here. There is easy water here. What we have given you is living water. Jesus is the living water. All the days of your life. And this water drank out of your hands unto good, unto blessing. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. getting the child just a taste we are getting the child to distinguish between good and evil so could you as you are growing let your yes be yes and let your no be no when you see things that are evil don't say it's a mistake say it is sin when you see what is good say it is good and all the days of your life, may you go with the people that are good. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. You always know that I will anoint, I will anoint a child. And Yeah. When God said to Moses, get the anointing oil, he agreed. Yeah. He agreed that take Simamon, take Kalamos, take Mer, and mix them and put them into an olive oil so that you will anoint the chief you will anoint the king you will anoint and dedicate all things to me and so we have taken this anointing oil the holy spirit is the anointing may the holy spirit brood over it may the holy spirit brood over it what we are doing is we are setting this child apart for god in the name of god who alone is father Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All the days of your life, we have set you apart that God will bless you and God will sanctify you holy and God's anointing will be upon your life that 
just like the simamon a spice that will draw the presence of god may the presence of god be upon you and wherever you go may you bring sweetness into every situation and oh god cassia is a very strong wood may you be so solidified that no weapon of the enemy fashion against you will prosper and may your life be preserved so that you grow to fulfill your destiny in the name of god who alone is father son and the holy spirit amen, amen. now we are going to baptize the children now i will be asking you to make some confession on behalf of your parents on behalf of your children and so all the children that are being baptized let them come this way let them come stand before me you can hold her the rest come all of you who are going to be baptized come this way yes 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 good We have, we have one big man among them. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, who is the maker of heaven and earth, and in his son Jesus Christ, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Mary, Virgin Mary, and suffered at the Pontius Pilate, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, and the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body? I'm asking the parents, if you believe in this confession, that you want your child to be baptized. If you believe, say, yes, I believe. Do you desire your children to be baptized into his faith into this faith would you by god's help provide christian training for these children and bringing them up in the worship and the teachings of the church that they may come to know christ as their savior and lord if you if you believe this you want to say we will God being our helper. You are promised before the church that you will train these kids in the fear of God. Amen. So, if it gets to a point that children are not seen in church, I will ask you. Would you so, would you so order your own life that you do not cause these little ones to stumble. If you order your life in such a way that the child can, you can be example of emulation, you want to respond, we will, God being our helper. Would you encourage them to remain as members of the church? and by the confirmation of their faith be established by the holy spirit they may partake of the lord's supper and go forth into the world to serve god faithfully in the fellowship of his church if you will do this say we will 
God being our helper. Amen. Now, I want to ask the elders. Because you are standing at witnesses to this young one. So, in case the parents even fail, and they come to church, you want to make a commitment to nurture these children. Dearly beloved, would you be faithful to your calling as members of the church and as elders so that these and all other children in your midst may grow in the knowledge and the love of him? If you would do this, you want to respond, we will, God being our helper. And we welcome them into our fellowship. Amen. You are of age. After this, are you going to go through the confirmation? You are part of the confirmation. Okay, good. Then I won't ask anything anymore. Thank you so much. Now come to my right, my left. Come to my left. Come to my left. I want the babies to come and let me baptize them first. Rene Frimpoma Anson. Is that daddy Anson? Well, good. Kwezi? Rene, you know what I'm saying? Number two. And so you take good care of her. You take good care of her. So I should baptize her. In the name of God the Father. Kwezi? Many brisemanamikans are. Now I baptize you in the name of God who alone is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rene, you are dedicated to the Lord Almighty and you are baptized. So that God will sanctify you wholly. And all the days of your life, you grow to become a prominent person in society. That the favor of the Lord will dawn upon you. Just like Mary was favored, may you be favored all the days of your life. And may the Lord order your step. And because of you, may God bless your parents. And bless wherever you go. In the name of God, who alone is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sweetie. Where is uh, Isaiah? Isaiah, where? Auntie Ruth. Yes. Isaiah, Isaiah, Kwajo Chum. Kwajo, I baptize you in the name of God the Father. I baptize you in the name of God the Son. I baptize you in the name of the Holy Spirit. That triune God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May his power overshadow you and may you be a blessing all the days of your life. I am decreeing that no weapon of the enemy fashion against you will ever prosper. I'm decreeing upon your life that the Lord will order your step and you will be a blessing. The Lord will favor you. And just like Isaiah cried out and said, Thus saith the Lord. You will also say, Thus saith the Lord. 
in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Isaiah, own jai tiye tiye muda na obet tiye tiye mu amewra dinin kwa ne nyina. Now, would you get me? Nana Kofi Dako the Papa and the Duke Nana Kofi Dako Ne Japanese so semi monies. I'm say anyway, this uncle Moe and T. Duke, come. You put your knees on the pillow. Yes. Duke, I baptize you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Duke, may the presence of the Lord overshadow you, and may the Holy Spirit brood over your life. May God's multiple blessings go ahead of you and may you grow in the fear and in the favor of the Lord. May, you, may God make you a blessing to your family, to the church, and to the world at last. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Duke. Yourself answer dark. Yourself answer dark. Yourself, I like this one. We grant in Kanan Kaiser Sen Kamedin Suning in Egum. I said, I like it. I like it. It's fine. I like it. It's fine. Yourself. What we are doing, we are setting you apart for God all the days of your life. That God's anointing will be upon you. And you grow in the favor of the Lord. I baptize you in the name of God. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. All the days of your life. May you work so strong and grow in the favor and the fear of the Lord. I pray that just as Mary was young, but God spotted her from afar and she was destined for blessing and for greatness. May you be blessed. May you be favored. And may the Lord sanctify you whole. Samuel was located at a place of blessing. All the days of your life, may you be located at a place of blessing. And may God order your steps. In the name of God, who alone is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Answer. And you nyame asafo ni nyame mai amen what is what is what michael michael
Micah. I baptize you in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May your heart desires find favor in the sight of the Lord. And among the young persons God is raising to glorify his name, may you be one of them. As you move across the world from one nation to another nation, may the Lord never cause anybody to oppress you. Because of you, may he rebuke kings. And may because of you, may the Lord say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. May you go in the power of the Lord. And may the Lord make you a blessing to the family, a blessing to the church, and a blessing to the world. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Micah, as you are in your ministry, you are a businessman. You are a businessman. You are a businessman. You are a businessman. Na fashe nyame ya sofu. Na sikane mra wensem bibri. Bibri. As the Lord move you across from one nation to another nation. O nyame mani nshira no soma. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, in your infinite mercy and goodness, you have promised that you will be, the, you will be not only our God, but also the God and Father of our children. We give you thanks for these children now, received into the fold of your church, and humbly request that your spirit may be upon them and dwell in them forever. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and in stature, and in favor with God and people. Abundantly enrich them with your heavenly grace. Bring them safely through the perils of childhood. Deliver them from the temptations of youth, and lead them in due time to witness and good confession. Preserve them in faith to the end, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your blessed Son shared an earthly home at Nazareth. Bless, we beseech you, the homes of these children, and grant wisdom and understanding to their parents and all who care for them. Grant that they grow up in your constant fear and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, Senior Presbyter and the clerk, you want to give a handshake to the parents as a symbol of commitment that all the days of their life they will come to church so that their children will also be nurtured in the fear of the Lord. A club offering will do. They have been baptized. From henceforth, they are members of this congregation. And we trust in that they will grow in the fear of the Lord. And God will use them mightily as they grow from glory unto glory and from grace unto grace. Amen. You can take your seat.
I will say I'm for some of your income. Uh, today we said we want to update the church. We had a congregational forum recently to assess our performance as leaders and to also plan for the future. That is what we did. And usually when we meet at congregational forum, it is not everybody that participates in that program. So when we finish congregational forum, we will want to come to church and update the church some of the major decisions we took and why we are doing what we are doing, what is the way forward. And so this morning, the senior presbyter, the present and the past, will give us a highlight about some of the things we discuss at the congregational forum. In our midst is Easy Water, a very special group that are charting the path of blessing in remote places where sometimes people may not even want to go. In the understanding of this organization, water is so important. Water is precious. And if you've not gone through the desert before, you don't understand what water means. If you have applied the Libyan desert before, I was in Libya for a few years, and those who came through the desert when we received them into the Tripoli Fellowship and the fellowship in Libya, when they tell their story, you will shed tears. So we think water is really important. We are seriously thinking what this church one time lifted an offering and gave it to Easy Water and Easy Water sunk borehole somewhere in a remote place that water became life to the community if you have gone through the villages before you will understand what easy water is doing some of us lived in places where we moved from one village to another i remember i got to a community in far away in brown the chief met the community and say, Osofu, Papa Osofu, please come and bring us water. Easy water. God bless you. For this project and for what you are doing. And with trusting that God will multiply your blessings. As a church, we want to continue to partner with you in what you are doing. Whatever the Lord will lay on our heart to support annually, we will think about that and then we will accompany you in what god has commissioned you to do you want to say a word and then after that uh, we'll pray with you thank you so much uh, okay. yes. uh, peace be unto you hey jolly ahanye Wonder no church, I can make a good name. We walk about your thing. Easy water, don't want to suffer care. Show a few okay, can over or one man here. Eh, calling your friend, you're not much money in track or two more. Eh, oh, fine, eh, you be a Aulana Chola Shona. No money in a bean, eh? Okay, that's the granddaughter of uh, what you call him. This is Nathan, he is the president of Easy Water for Everyone. And then this is the wife, Linda. You know, who does almost everything administratively and financially and everything. And then next is my wife, Elizabeth. Amen. And my name is Seth. My name is Seth. And we all are part of Easy Water. But then as a spokesperson, Linda would like to say a few words. You know, just like Osofo has said, we go to the various remote areas. You know, we are in the greater Accra, we are in the Ashanti region. We are in the Eastern region, we are in OT region, and God willing, next month, we are going to, uh, I think, Ahafo region. I, I, I'm, I'm forgetting the divisions now, but we are going to Esutifi North, where we are going to be establishing some of uh, our projects there. Linda, here you are. 
Thank you very much, and thank you. This is the second time now that we've been to your services, and it is just delightful. So thank you for welcoming us. Um, as Seth and the pastor has said, we go to all of these places. Nathan and I have been to these places, and we love them. They are so remote. The people are so welcoming, and they need clean water so badly. The children, especially under the age of five, get very sick with the water. Some of them don't survive. And so by bringing our little device, which we have a picture of it here, and setting it up, it cleans the water. And the children, when we go back, they're just thriving. They're like this young gentleman, full of energy. So we would very much like to have a partnership with your church. We understand that there are other Ghanaian churches in the U.S. that you're all affiliated with. So Seth has been asked to speak with as many as we can because we would really like a strong relationship with the Ghana Presbyterian Church. We believe you guys are the backbone of the Ghanaians here in the U.S. and can really help us look respectable and um, worthy of other people's donations besides yours, which we really very much thank. So thank you for the few minutes of your very precious time during your religious services. Thank you so much. We, we oh, have yeah. these cards available and then you can take one so that you know exactly where we are in Ghana, you know, and the various areas that we have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Professor Obe Shayana. We will pray with you. We want to pray with you. They have made available these flies and we will drop them at the back. When we close, you can pick. And then once you get to know what they are doing and the places they are covering, you want to pray with them. And you also want to sow a seed into their ministries. Thank you so much. Can we share a word of prayer? What they are doing, I will request the church to be upstanding. And you want to stretch forth your hand over these persons. God has commissioned them to the world. And say a word of prayer. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. May the Lord provide the resources that they need. Into your gracious mercy, I commend easy water and commend the persons that have dedicated themselves to this cause. Throughout generation, you are raising people of power. And you're making people of praise that will move across the land with your spirit and glorify your precious name. Thank you that in your selection, this person's found favor in your sight. And thank you for your protection so far. And thank you for your leading. As they grow, may you strengthen their bones and may you grant them strength from above may they never suffer want or need may you provide according to your riches in glory and may you raise people to step in their shoes to do what they are doing across the globe may you touch the hearts of young persons to accompany them May you order their steps wherever they go. And when they sink the wells, may the water that gush out of the wells bring multiples of blessings to these persons. 
as people drink and they are revived may you revive this organization oh god when they stretch forth their hand to pray may you look from above and bless their hands wherever the sole of their feet shall set may you bless these places and god may you envelop them in your love that day by day they will see your leading and be able to comprehend your direction for this ministry and for living water thank you that you open hearts for hearts to support them and thank you for the company of the brethren that pray with them into god's gracious mercy and protection i commend you may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord order your steps all the days of your life and may the lord strengthen you to accomplish the purpose for which he has set you apart in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen thank you so much let me do yes bless you bless you bless you so much bless you bless you bless you bless you thank you you want to take this <laughs> Today, Senior Presbyter. Okay, I think that it is good that we take an offer tree because after the sermon, offer tree must come. And so we want to take an offer tree. Then, after that, the Senior Presbyters will prepare. And then we will also interview one or two persons to tell us a little bit about Manhattan. Because today is Presbyterian Sunday, 1828. Some people left Basel in Switzerland and journeyed to Ghana, Gold Coast. They died and died and died. But eventually the church, the Presbyterian church was established. And because it was established based upon Jesus Christ, the church will never die. And it is making inroads. So we want to hear the story of how the church came to North America. And so we'll interview one or two persons to, do, to tell us. So singing band, we are ready for you for offering.
Amen. From January until December, the session meets every month, once a month for major meetings. In between, when there is the need for it, we meet quarterly to deliberate on significant things and for the progress of the church. The session executive sometimes meet almost every week to address pertinent issues that require immediate attention. At the commencement of the year, we came to have a congregational forum to tell the church where we are going and to set clear agenda ahead of the church, both spiritual and material, and in terms of project. Half a year, we met again to outline what we have done and what we are yet to do. At the last meeting in November 26, we met at a congregational forum to look our, to assess the progress we have made to assess performance and to also strategize for the future. When we met, significant issue came about that we think that it is appropriate that you know. The senior presbyter has been detailed to summarize briefly one or two things that we think it is really important for you to know as members of the congregation. With a clap offering, we are receiving the senior president. Peace be unto you all. Amen. Amen. We thank God for how far he has brought us. We thank him physically and spiritually for the support and guidance he has made us so true from the beginning of the year till now December. And as a church, we have to be 
grateful. And we, the leadership, also should be able to render our stewardship to the church and then the way forward. There is a saying, if you do not know where you are going, any road will lead you there. So we don't baby a woko, we don't cry, we don't say waira, we don't say kwa na woko. We have outlined five special notes here that we would like to emphasize on. One is the ongoing registration. By the end of December thirty first, we want to make sure that every church member is registered. Even if you are not in here for a long time, if you are away everywhere in the world and you still want to be a member, please make sure you are registered. The patrol registration, our PCG constitution, Bosome me and sa, so we didn't any humemoa, not just a soy and own camp, and yet could do an account. PCG presbyter. President Church of Ghana, your constitution, UBA, page three, our all speculated. A lot of people are in this church. We started this registration, so still, be permanent, I'm registered. It's a bit of so we need to be, and our damn will be unregistered. But modern, nama na so empty. Na yeti mi huni padu dua, yewo, ni yeti mi edi ashisha yenema, ni yeti mi so edi ayi budget. Or a fear I ever remove. In 2023, the first floor, after so many meetings with the moderator and the presbytery chairperson, we have asked the presbytery offices to be given out to us because we need it. And they have accepted. So from 2023, most of the rooms there, we're going to utilize it. We need to rent some out to make money to pay for our mortgages because our mortgage is expiring next year, April. Next year, April, we have two mortgages. They are expiring, and we need to do something drastically. Behind closed doors, we have worked assiduously to refinance the loans. But leadership, FO said, Mass in the day, I was here to meet you. A car, a car was on. So far, we have 280,000 left on it. So, with your consent, last year, you bought for you, you are not here. I feel so, so, you bought for you. To your business, you decide to come on. Any a car, my man is the only son, a day and son, you do why someone get this, so they come on get back up, Emma Asafi. Yet me abomoding say in the next fifteen years we should be able to pay off our mortgage. We have been working behind closed doors with investors. Obi Abba say, how many years na mawa tnaha? Yes, thirty years. Oh, and I mun to mintu yamu dain kei. Adeti. So this is the time. This is our time. We should find a way. And because of that, in Tino. You can see it's me making sure the first floor, you're renting, you're making some income. Because we can't only rely on tight and offer tree to pay over a million dollars. We are paying almost 13000 for mortgage every month for the mass and then the church premises. And we think that you all support this idea to make a way forward. Also, we also like to thank all of you, especially the committees, for the work we entrusted into their hands to help us in so many ways. If I want to mention names, they have helped us in so many ways to get a top range lawyer to fight with Mamayas to get our money for us. As at now that we're speaking, Mamayas is owing us to a tune of over 400,000 which is not understandable. And we have to do everything possible to get our money to pay off our debts. Also, as we came into leadership, we saw that so many people were being owed their welfare. Me, we were 
five years in Indian Chia Media Mammy. Abna Natu, we also sani in Chia. Minya Robert, the Adams are ten years in him. Ya bomb more than so be a ya den a car, ya two be a si kaman. To patcho ha. Now say, welfare, ya acknowledge ye who donate him be a man penny for Because moving on from 2023, we have to make sure that nobody is in, is we're not owing anybody because. Everybody is contributing to the church. It is service. Obi who can never say na ebochi dom na yekobuano. Also in the registration, the impesa ebeya se asema to obi na impenifuo eji na tunchen babocho the impesa ebesi because ebi emu ya yati demu hei is the same people who are coming and going through rain and snow. Some people think that oh church no ebimudia. The church is not for anybody, it's for God. And it's for you and I. It's a bear whom it is As we be too wa, now say a conference, oh or say church kwa bedi any. As a for ma mumrani uncle buano, a ya home it be bri. Tia best ram. Say be be bea u pase. We are a fear, yes, me, my when him break. Now, yet we must have we so in two pong. In him, sir, I fear, yes, me, a bear of a pamine. Now, she says, so I yato to you, a bubble more dame, a diso. Bonicas, I must say, ideas are like fishing. If you want to catch a big fish, you need to go deeper. Till I fear, yes, me, a better to us, I know, I could, if I pay ye. If they name him say, say yen yea, that she be no a best so a papa, a my yenina. In him say, yenina, yet in a memoir, a bayanisa, and yet to me, a pim aquenim, amen. The best says, as a dipper, me and no an army and sebi, a was and be sebi ah, on bet me be sa, na ya church room. Bacho mama kasa bacho ibet with the mic na mama. Bacho mama mic na mbra. Bacho efa registration on. My roommate, I'm in a tenor on Okogana. The bap penny we more quay, Nana Yuko Priana Oka, and they are not befriend in another Honha. Into Oniho, Nadet, and so a quetch. Maybe I don't know or men fellowship. We didn't hear Eric Safo. Yo, but I remember our forms. Now, wait me, Eddie Asenano. You, now, wait me, I register. You. They don't internet for Ghana and Papa. We have the link too. That is on the platform. We'll continue to post it. It will be on the panel will be on. It will be on the panel. 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 It will But uh, you mentioned that um, I mean also, you mentioned that uh, the first floor is going to be rented, right? Yes. But I know uh, the administrator has his office there, or Sofu has his office. Where are they going to be when this place okay. is rented? We have put mechanisms in place. Or Sofu office or mass no a hosu bebri tiye create office or you know he was going to join the administrator to use the first offices. And then the presbytery chairman's office is also there. The clerk of the presbytery office is there. The presbytery have an office for finance. It's also sitting down there. And still, we are owing so much. And then we don't think it's worth it. See, any moderator do not come I'm a money not happening. Because for the past four years, they have not been utilizing the space. And in Manhattan here, every space is per square foot in Dallas. Timbacho Sana is a shy woman. You didn't manage your call mass. Now you utilize the space in the view of mass. That's it. 
But so the chat to America on say, Effa, your financial statements on January will make an open forum and then give you all the details for the whole year as we did last year so that you all know how our finances were spent. But so, about one minute, also, you and take comfort. Okay, she will be the last one, and then I'll. Pamucho, Mr. Akaki to be asking you and come and counsel. Pamucho, my question, eh, yes, sir. Ya tia 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 ting, grow for your tina yachia. Up to now, one more dika woman to your debby, I must say, more come was a more come was some. How many months now, Cream would to them one, would to them when I won't to ya? Yebe two. Ya tia bre. How many years in the debby I am a can? Moon to Omo, ne cabbe break, ho. I had the car, I am my gilons, I still yet. I sorry, ties in Timmy to ya. Grana got to us off for a paycheck. Now one more to then move free all this year. See, there be a Muslim mobile, Mudu, a mobile court court, mobile day, mobile fall lawyer, mobile UBC, yes, 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 and yes, I say, I want to hear something. But you are me person make me mean and I As at now that I'm, I'm, I'm speaking. speaking. I will say something. Good. About Thank it. you very much. Because Let me answer the question. I'm very upset about it. Yes. It's, it's, it sounds so easy. But in this nation that we are, there are so many rules and laws. Some of the deals that we signed with them, they were loopholes. And I said, Utuna, or so called baby man. Not in a minute, I will sign to Yaka. And because of all this, with the help of some of our church members who are legally abreast, we've got some top range lawyers from town who are dealing with them now. So hopefully, as we enter January, there should be a fruitful resource. I can rest assured that. And then we've paid a lot of money for that too. Uh, we can give a clap of friend to the senior presbyter. No, no, just, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. You, you drop your hands. We will give you the chance to talk. So I've been out here for to phone. Robert, let me place on record our gratitude to the board of trustees headed by Mr. Opoti Soa. Dr. Opoti Soa. My own friend, Dr. Opoti Soa. I want to place on record the good work this board did over the years. It became necessary, not from the congregation, but from the Presbyterian General Assembly, that the board of trustees that oversees and superintend over the management of the properties of the church needs to be reconstituted. Over a period of time, I guess the arrangement for transfer wasn't really done in such a way that the board really honestly felt embarrassed and humiliated. So we, at my arrival, we met with a moderator and he indicated clearly that we must come to the board and apologize on his behalf. And so we did that. Dr. Potisowa and his team met with us a couple of times. And that kind of unfortunate thing has been done away with. And so we are embracing them and saying,
thank you once again to the work that the board did over the period. <laughs> Having gone through all the necessary arrangement and a proper transfer, the last time we met was on the 26th. Was that right? That was on the 11th. Last Sunday. That's last Sunday. Oh, two, two, two Sundays ago. Two Sundays ago, which was on the 10th of December. We met and they handed over officially to the constituted committee, which is the property committee. And so they walked us through all the documents they have. And then officially, this has been done. Is that right, Dr. Potisoa? Yes. Thank you so much. We want to give an applause one more time to the work of this committee. So now the property committee is headed by our brother Robert Tete. Yes, yes. They gave the key. They handed over everything there and the key to the office to me. So I took hold of it and then handed it over to the senior presbyter and it was handed over to our brother Robert Tete who is currently leading the property committee. So Baba, doctor, thank you very much and your team. We want you to convey this to all the team for the good work they have done over the years. And so this property is the property of the church. Sorry, day. The manse is the property of the church. And just like the senior presbyter has summarized so well, we are all having headache. Why? Manata And why for, like Antiquity was saying, why for over this number of years? Yeah, for near the two year mortgage. Yeah, for near the two year mama as a We said this must stop. And the mama has a court. That is period. We have done all the arrangements. And the cross or motin will be catch Roma, the Omoko court. The lawyer and Afia say, I prepare BBBA or the Omoko court. Sikane or Hono. Yabeji. Robert, what is the property committee from session? You are a session member. You are also a member of the project committee that were constituted to look at this project and to advance it. If you have anything to add to what the senior presbyter has said, go ahead. Thank you very much. Um, I thank God for um, the, the work he's doing in this church through us. And I also thank um, all of you for um, giving your substance to help God's work. Amen. Yes, um, we are facing a whole lot of uh, challenges in this building. Um, we, we come here and we see the building looking nice, you know, the inside looking nice. But then when you go throughout the building, um, you will find out that we have a whole lot of challenges. The uh, project committee met and... Um, we talked about it and we agreed um, that we should have uh, a civil engineer come look at the building and the whole structure and to tell us what, what we need to do. In fact, they came, they went throughout the building and they realized that the building is strong. But then we have um, some challenges in, with the steel beams. When you go down the basement, you will realize that um, they, 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 they still, you know, holding the building. It's, uh, they are corroding and they need to be fixed. And that will cost us a whole lot of money. They also said that uh, even though the structure is uh, pretty strong, 
we realize that we also get leaks um, from the street. It, it comes from the manhole in, in the street, the, the condition hole. They said um, the basement used to be used for storing um, equipment, you know, heavy equipment by, I think, uh, Canadian. Yeah, so um, we thought about it then, you know, and, and they said um, the best thing to, to do to get rid of all these uh, problems is really bringing the building down. Um, we have said this, uh, you know, some years back, and uh, it became uh, a problem, you know, within within the church. And uh, people think that um, some of us want to sell sell the building, and you know, it didn't go well. But I, I don't think we should um, uh, waste time on this because uh, the more we waste time, the more money we will have to come up with, and the money is not there. We are still paying mortgage in a building and the mortgage seemed not to uh, end. Like the senior president said, uh, we are uh, refinancing and um, uh, we will see where, where, where that will take us. But if we, if we can agree that we need to do something, we are looking for investors. Now, if you have any idea um, or know any investor that can come and have a meeting with us. We can sit up with them and see where, where we can go with this. You can let us know. Um, we can either turn this uh, place into a commercial property that will give us money, or if we decide to you know, stay here, but then bring the building down and, and, and rebuild it and, and you know, have uh, our church uh, uh, or our sanctuary in here and, uh, whatever have you, we can do it. Parking has also become a, a, a big challenge um, for all of us. Um, you can attest to it. That even on Sunday, Saturdays when we come for pra practice, we can you know, get parking. So we really need to think about all these things. Um, the property committee is also here to do what we have to do to help this church. So um, without uh, wasting your time, I will also uh, plead with you that um, our youth also have a challenge here because um, they don't have a, a place where they will meet and, and we are trying to get them a place to meet. But we need to think about all this and, and for us not to lose them, we also have to think about them and do something um, for this church. I know we all love this, this church and we want this church to remain. And we also love this church and we want to do the right thing. So please um, help us, you know, so we can all uh, move forward together. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kamina and Kamavi Mugapa. Na and Sir Robert, what kind of brothel come up? And a senior near Nitiawa Ukufia. Senior, any session in your eye in your eye register. And yes, sir. Safi so now register. I own Kaya Hubio. And period. Because a human when you can't say be register, kawa register that data. To be biara or do you know? Go and register. Amen. And then me share my mobile sorry, my mom's a mama. Because and then you work up power final, Anna. And then you work up final. And then me fear say me share my rent and my baba wanna be break. Now, my team is about sorry. Any registration senior say, What can I conclude to see a senior? What can so am I in your attire? I say, Sir, Sika some a yaya day, no moon, no quassam, and say, Oh, first harvest, or second harvest, 
sikani nyina apart from recurrent yetua light bill yetua we ne usikani nyina eda ho ye mfa nsankan eda ho na mo ni ya ye ne se refinance no beni for se sa months dino bibi wo ho kakre bi akase ye betue wi se ne be ya months ne be ye japa de ye completer e ba se ye pe loan ye pe bibi kase bi a ye betimi de ye si a wo wase ye we japa de kase enti ono e ne ye ye ho adwuma e na bi o munso ye se sa sori den a osofu kumi dwa mena ne ni pe bi di kan ne wode dom ye no 2025 will be 40 years old. Anna, ain't so ye be cause what nem ano kwasem me ba officer many papa santi kufi ye nkuani ye ti officer wa for this period. Na dying in egugu ho. Na second floor ho. Na basement that's all. Yes, you know more. Ye be turning into commercial use. Na buaya me yenye sika. Because he say asafui. From 70 years. To 80 something years. No? Na ano kakrabi jina ha. Ana. Se say from 60. To, eight, to 80 something years. We have as many as 125. And he say. Oma anangu utuye 200. 300. No? They say, it's about 20 and 40. How do we sustain this church with that? Ne senti, say, yan dania safui, anye, baby, and ya media dumye. In fact, wonga was son die, na obeto sa property some years, unyamin shira wong, pa, 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 pa. Because, a ye da jini ya, wo jini kwe nim. Enti nen chiri manso ntinase. Enfa ye nsan she ye demirifem. Na ye ntinase sa se collection beba. Ne ba ni ye di akutuya. No. We think say we are sitting on gold. And this must be harnessed. And it must be harvested. Ye dani ya ebe buwa ye. Ene biyo monso Robert Ibopwe. Structure engineer. Bra ye ye sadi. Papa dudu. Eka committee, no. Efwa Santi Onoha, Eka committee. They was they are structural engineers. They are from the city. They are penipa companies in Kwa Four. Interview we mean in area, you know. The first person will be do one or say this property. Some more pepa say be benefit ma pull down the structure and rebuild. The first statement. In fact, the document that he has compiled a uh, uh, voluminous. The engineer is from Holland. Or a uh, city engineer. Nanedju moye. In fact, they deal with all structures. And you are an expert. And also, senso muntimi nkoni saa. Namo persestela amo be yusu weya. City will not permit you to go more than one floor. City will not permit you to go more than one floor. Tina chesa one floor pe. And I'll be timi yako. And the process it will take. The corrosive nature of a near man. A New York ne wo. So oka so be yo noa. Jisa wu disika ke se pashe. And ye hun se. E buzun yavo. Next April ya. Ye sika ye wo wo dayon. Se yam fa. En ye hun se ma. Oh, one and Crophobia because of my woman sat to die so. And in Tina Penny for say, Sadia, let us do the refinance. However, yes, a bra, ye, ye, send ye by April, Bibia, ye, who song the property continue to be ours. But while we are doing it, or don't for be ba, no quitesica, Cassie, no say, I am putting this money in your hands. We have agreed as a church that the Presbyterian Church of Ghana will continue to be here. Yes, here be woha wo. Nenti bra asore no se ba se be woha ne ba si wo pulu dan wa. 
Aye den a jis ope baby. Na o kosum kakra. Ni ye kach rebus nya for said ni amube pulu den biya ye perse Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Mo yef ground floor fe 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 ba kon na ye din dasubon. Se Presbyterian Church of Ghana in New York. Na mo ye bin so twa so mai. Na surun mube timiya twa so kura ye beji tax, ye beji sika, ye beji rent. Na mo se sika kesena wadi amaye. Presbyterian Church, if you see your soup, no more see your sorry diano. They look for a very big place, sir. For 100 years, 200 years, the church will continue to be there. Meboa. And in TSA, say, Sikani Yenya. Yadibekwa kope, baby, ya a sopa kese. Na ya ye Presbyterian headquarters, ewoho. Na oba wenya car park. Oba when your baby a park now for twenty two hundred years in Chile my bebano or more beba the Presbyterian Church of Ghana will still be registered in this very land. Eto asumana and in the way and a year yes sir. I was in a woman vampire born tie processes nay very slow and burning for two me for sir. Sikana yenya and a young femura. Ya yeah, ope pepe na Mame ya se funkro eh, Ifo Capital wa mfo se Sa Contract na mo sign Eh Shem Wan shi ya E eh, dino Ye be jie fi mo se Enti for the past two months Ye shia Ye kope lawyer Ye shia Ye kope broker If we don't do it on time Na epri dua Asa matu ye Fortunately En inti na Obibe un se ibi ya because da 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 maka and so monye fi moka monye fi every time things are changing and the situation what is coming up is becoming uh, very complex but we are very determined leadership is determined with your prayer support we are grateful for all that we are doing and we want to promise you we will lead the church well by God's grace. Ye di yen kwenye na be tuwa ni ya sre nye anko ponse o me fye na safo. Na mpe ni fo mi shia samte enra ye shia from 10. Ye pon 3 p.m. Ye si ye bunko nta ye fye ya nkasa. Mwadi mbo be ni ye bo e. Ye nina kansa nse mwini nina. Andi as we go in ahead pray with us. Pray with us that this whole area of things about free financing will be done. We will so na so be a bar no disika kakrakaba ya beside the abab mwenim niya kachiram said this is what we have. I can promise you this one in the name of Obika said we did me promise you for sure and for sure say. A sorry sika capre e mane mante amen. A sorry sika capre because the money is for God, and we want to assure you. We want to assure you, anything that requires a major decision, we will bring it here, and we will all talk about it if we need to move forward. But leadership must plan. In some way, you can you know, I die so yes, so a bit me are your china a bit me are two years, it can be three years, but the leadership must plan and move forward. Send your bear when you may a doma. This church will continue to be a celebrated church, amen. Some people also think, say, sadly, we don't even need investors. And in tea, near the camp, I say, young cassa, ye explore with banks. The banks in the be ba, ne obi the can ye see, no more so be any in our Now, middle man be a mantem. That is one thing we are also doing. As we speak, member banks in the 
but we are exploring that possibility. However, ye yani ye nyepi. No biya ba no si mi kute sika kesi pa. I think say mama ye kwa ni intimi so enso no. But ye so no mo. Because we are dealing with the city. Ye be famra kwa su ni na. Ne me du bebi no biya ko kasi ya ye violation. Violation ni ye ye chum. O Jesus Christo di. Ye be she ni ya ye ne sa pe pe pe. Amen. Me who send nipa back ni me no be peja one, sir. And in the Abana, if you still want to talk, you have the right. Thank you. Yes. So mine says, oh. oh. Okay. Um, it's a maybe a two to three part question. So I was referring back to what Senior said earlier regarding the first floor being rented out. My first question is that if it's being rented out, who are we? renting it out to and then what are we we what are we proposing that we're going to utilize that space for and then if that is the proposed to have it rented out and offices are to be moved to the man's when it's time for you us awful to be contacted is us the parishioners now have to work our way to the man's in order to um get it you know be in contact with you so my my question is that knowing that the demographics here most of us live within the, you know between Manhattan and the Bronx some coming as far as Queens how would they be able to contact you if the proposal is to rent out the first floor and basically you working from home and everybody else okay I'm gonna I'm the senior went further to say that the office where the administrator occupies, there are two offices there. And so the minister will move to one and the administrator will move to the next one. So the regular uh, movement to the office to work will still be working. It okay. will still operate. There will not be any change about that. So it will just be that you'll be moving one office yes. over. So, so that the remaining rooms can be rented. Yes, and I understand that also too. So as the Sexton also too has an office space here, would he also too be remaining in that office? You mean the, the administrator? Floor? Administrator, you have three offices or four offices that are being utilized right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Right? So... The Sexton, which is Ms. Defrifa, takes up one space. I think where Auntie Rose sits at, and then yourself, and then our administrator. So the other two, where will they be moving to? Okay. What we senior elaborated that when we have a management body to manage this place, that other part of the work where you will need other persons to come will not be relevant anymore. Because right since I came for one year, almost every time I come to office, it is myself and the administrator. And yes. Mr. Frifa at his uh, the cubicle. And he goes around to do all the work. If we bring a management consultant to take over this place, all other things will be done what will be left with consultation with the administrative desk in terms of the day-to-day -day operation and contact with the minister that will continue okay that will continue and so there wouldn't be any problem about that at all so but while the spaces are for the for example the presbytery now is moving to uh their residence so the two places there will be vacant 
the hall will be vacant. The one after the uh, the, the hall is also will be vacant. Mm -hmm. The one the clerk meets. When we turn this whole place, the basement and the second floor, we will selectively position an office so that when the clerk needs to be there, the clerk will always be available. There will be a, an available space for her to do that. So, so there basically, be you're saying that someone will always be on the premises sure. there for someone to sure. be at. So, okay, sure. that's fine. Now, and the then the other part of it is the space. What are we thinking about turning this whole place? Yes. In fact, so many proposals has come before us. We want to sift through and look for the best proposal. We are bringing experts to guide us. Some persons are talking about school. Some persons are talking about office space. Some persons are talking about renting it to medical support. And some persons are even coming up with legal firms and all that. But we're saying that we want an advice that will benefit this church. So if it comes, we have not settled on anything immediately. We are in the process of deliberating and thinking through and seeing what is best for this place. And then we will accept. We keep on receiving uh, opportunities from others. People want to, uh, yeah, last week, last week, what was that, Friday? Friday, another lady came and with a beautiful proposal, we said, yes, we have received it. Bring a whole document for us to examine it. So whoever has come, we are receiving all that. But before we conclude, we know that we have done good work because we bring experts also to advise us. Sometimes I tell people that when I went to school, because senior theology, Anna, and when it comes to legal issues, I wouldn't pretend that I know everything. I'll bring the right persons. When it comes to technical things, I'll bring the right expert. Even if they are from the city, we'll bring the right person. Yes. So that we don't finish, and posterity will come and tell us that, why did these people do what they have done? No, we won't do that. We'll take the right decision. I understand. Okay, I, thank you very much for that, and I understand all of that. So my thing is just that um, I, I'm really encouraged, but I, I know what's happened in the past. So as a word of caution, if it is something that is being proposed, I would strongly suggest that it is something that is seen lucrative, but then also makes sense that it's not being, um, it's not going to be, you know, like one year or two years or what we're experiencing currently with the tenants behind us, correct? Sure. So even sure. with that being said, um, at the moment, I know that we're renting out like the second floor, right? Um, with us getting the advisors that you say, is this something that's also being budgeted that is being that's being paid for the second floor currently we have agreed that it must be turned to commercial and that is managed by the administrator and mr Frifa. there are forms to complete when you rent the place and they turn in whatever has been received and therefore, the finance committee accompany them so that whatever comes out of it, we know that this is what has come out of it. And so we are guaranteed how the, 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 the place that has been turned to use, what is coming. We have also done a budget, and we are trying to find out. A budget is budget. But we want to, at least there is a proposal that by the close of the year, this is what we will get. Currently, it has not been advertised enough. So it is once a while somebody come to secure the place. Some of them also come and they say that there is no car place, car park, and they, so therefore they go. There was, a, uh, there was a, a photography team that wanted to come to use the place for a long time. They came, they examined the place, there was one or two challenges, they went and never came back. So that's why we think that when we have a management body, the place can be put right, and then it could be made available as and when it is needed. Okay, thank you. All right. I was here for MZ Yama, baby. Kwame. Kasa. 
na emrante ni maba ano diye so omu kasa omu kasa ni yama omu kwa ya asem baba enji bra yes kwa ya means you endorse what leadership is doing. Yeah, so actually it's, 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 it's long overdue. Yeah, it's long overdue, which we, we should actually revisit it and, and uh, make sure they go. Okay, my second thing has to do with membership. We always hear people coming here, oh, this is my first time here, and that is it, you don't hear of them again. But if we can, with this uh, uh, vision, uh, one point five. Yeah. If we can try as much as possible to keep these people who always come or their first time here, we uh, I can I came to stay. If we can monitor, if we can follow up, make follow up to keep these people here. The, 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 the number, our uh, number will actually as well. Yeah, apart from that, there are some church members who for one reason or the other might not be seen. But if we can also make sense of, just last week, to follow somebody, up. Called somebody that has been paying a tax, even though it's not very regular, but he's very good in paying their tax. She called me, oh, come in. I, 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 I'm not, I, I want to uh, transfer my membership from there because it's like, I said, do, if you have any problem, come to the office, talk to the administrator, or see the, the minister and discuss it with, with, with him. And I believe, yeah. So Thank you. We, 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 we really, Baba, we really appreciate what you're saying. Bamcho, yeah. follow up 
if some persons will testify that we call them, we follow up on them. The last thing we have done is that everybody who has registered, we have distributed their names, including children, to Asafun Penifu. And from henceforth, Asafu Penibia was a list of about 20 persons or more. Ah, Bribiara, Yebeshia, Sasafu Peni. Any session, we ask the member, how many persons have you called? How many persons have you visited? How many persons have you followed up? What we have said is that if they call and there is a challenge, because throughout the week, all the sick and those who need immediate attention, the minister will call and the minister will pray with them. So when the elders call and there is a problem, the elders immediately will refer it to the minister. And the minister and the catechist will also move straight and to go and visit. In fact, there are a few things that are passed. Let the ones that have passed, let it pass. Now we have opened another chapter. We are doing our best. It may not be the best for everybody. It is also true that those who come, Mama Angelina Kiyomi and the evangelism committee, whoever comes to this church, they know. We have done flyers, they drop in their hands. We have established what we call the new entrance class. We meet with them on phone and online to talk with them. And so that is being done. It may not be as we may be looking for, but gradually we will get there. Gradually. Sometimes all that we are doing may not come to light. This is what we are doing. But if there is anything that I always will want to be remembered for, the souls that came to Jesus Christ, that is crucial for me. And it's very important for me. Pa. And to those who come, we will make sure we follow up on them. We will make sure we call them. Those who are indisposed and they are at home. Mr. Asante Wechiwa, sometimes when we leave the house around 8, we return by 9 p.m. And we do that. And so, so Sometimes we don't and I want to say thank you to Asa from Penny for for this. Thank you. Now there is some yes, Mama, Mama Angelina. Oh, Papa, Pacho, 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 Pacho. Time on no baby, I do. Pacho, that young lady, come. And then Mama Angelina, I mean, I want to respond. It yes, go ahead. Papa, Pacho, I understand this is a congregational forum, so ho hopefully it's okay for me to change the topic from the buildings to the people. Um, yes. And this is in regards to the youth. To um, the youth. Yes, come, come up. So that including I can the, the band, the um, media team, everyone. We all the youth. Um, with the presentation that was given by the senior presbyter, there was nothing that was mentioned that um, has, like, they feel proud that they did for the youth. So I, like, I didn't hear any accountability for the youth. Oh, nothing. There was oh, nothing presented oh. about us. Oh, but the youth, you know that we are serious. You are seriously in our agenda. And currently, as we are speaking, for the first time, the youth president is brought to session. Is that not good? Youth president, no. And ne, session they say Now, so the youth president is brought to session. The next thing is that. We have constituted the first service. The first service generally is made up of the young persons. I want to say clearly that you may go to so many churches, but for the first time and one a moment, the youth are all the leaders of the first service. 
We only accompany them. When they come on meeting on Wednesday, I am there. Rhoda is there. Sometimes senior presbyter is there. We are placing leadership in their hands. They have also invited us to run seminars and other things for them. Recently, they said that they need a place of work and a place of meeting. We went down to the basement to make sure that there is a place. When they finish, it was only yesterday that the youth leadership is telling us that there is stench, there is no entrance, there is no opening. So that is not our making. We are saying that it will require huge money to be able to do that. So what we are doing currently is that we are trying to get the office space of the clerk and the presbytery chapels because we've already officially written to them. And so they are going to remove their equipment and whatever is there. And we want to assure the youth that we will give them a place to worship. The youth is on the agenda of this leadership. And whatever we have told them, we have assured them. Recently, we have put a district youth in place. We met with them a couple of times. What they outlined clearly, we are excited. But what we have said is that when you have a program and you want us to be part, all that you need, we may not be able to discern what you are doing if it is not passed on to us. That is why we have brought the president to session so that whatever the youth have in place, 2023, discuss it with us. Let us also come to support you. And you can be sure that we will support the youth to the maximum. If that is not satisfactory, then I don't know what else. <laughs> but I think that. I'm, I'm, I know you're trying to like, make us feel. Yes, what else do you want that we have not done? Yeah, the thing is, we haven't felt like we are being prioritized. You? We, we have not felt like we are being prioritized. You have been... And so, hopefully, with what you, we have been prioritized. Okay. No, but no, hopefully, this, this with time, what you are saying... No, 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 no. Whatever is past, let it pass. That is what I'm saying. Sometimes, and the, the youth, now there is a new person at the realm of affairs. There is a new leader holding the steer that is driving. Okay. And I want to stand and assure you that myself and my session, whatever it will take to move the youth forward, let's forget what is past. We are in the now. I want to give the youth, we want to let the youth know that they are priority. Yen Yakase, youth are not leaders of tomorrow, they are leaders of today. I was a youth pastor. And I know what it means for, the, for to get a youth. But the youth must also understand that when we selected the youth leadership, we said, we said to them clearly, for the leaders also to believe you and to give you a pat on the shoulders, demonstrate leadership. Because sometimes, it is only when they want to do something that is when you, you, see, you see them. Sometimes, so when we were, when we were go, taking them through the process of becoming leader, we brought everybody and took his tight or a tight book. We looked at it and we, I came back and to tell the session that all the youth leaders I saw, I went through their tight. They are doing well. We clapped for you and said that you are doing well. And so, demonstrate leadership because me she papa boachi baby or we na se you fu bia be jina ha na o ye 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 ni e me bia say ah na mo if the youth leader has earned the respect of the leadership of the elders they will give them all the support that they need so youth leaders don't only come once a while be the leaders of today and you have our backing. We will support you to the maximum. We, will support you. we have heard you, Papa. Thank you. Um, but is it safe to say that? I said we have heard you and thank you. So is it safe to say that we can hold you accountable for yes, you it? Can like hold, you, can, thank you. you can hold us accountable thank only you. when you also get us yes. to know what you are doing. 
Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Don't stand somewhere and say that any year may you for when you're doing things that we do not know. Last time when we went to the, co uh, uh, the consultation, no, it was a, the co no, no, co congregational conference. All the things that were outlined, it was like it was only youth agenda without the church being part of it. That is what we are saying. If you want us to be involved, for example, we're saying that there is a crossover retreat. The crossover, we have given the 29 to the young persons. But we said to the, all of us that it is not only youth. So the young people must all not say that we want to be part of it. But that day, the entire leading of the entire program will be for the young persons. And the youth must also show leadership. Because we think that the youth can do better than what we are seeing them doing at the moment. All right, baby, I heard you. Time, Mama Angelina, do you respond? And then, Auntie Lydia. Yes. Sometimes you pass by somebody you know you you don't even, you are not even sure is that that person. So please, when somebody you know is not feeling well, don't make it just your personal business. Let others also know so that we can all call because there's nothing so heartwarming as when you are home alone and somebody will call just to say hello. So please, don't let's make it. And then my second thing is, some people bring other people's tide books. So when it comes to uh, distributing them, it becomes a problem. And if you can, when you bring another person, not everybody can come with their tide book every Sunday. Please let the ushers know, so that after church they know whom to give the tide book back to. Because sometimes they'll be walking around, ah, who, they don't know the person is not here. And they don't know whom to give it to. When they buy a house, so now you know, they may promote you. Maybe you may damage it. Ah, let me do this final thing. We said that if you want to register your child or your ward, the person may not be in New York. The person is uh, miles away from New York in another state. The person does not attend any church anywhere apart from Manhattan. If you have registered the person, what demonstrates to us that the person is a true member and the full member in standing is that the person comes to church regularly. The person pays his or her tithe regularly. So if the person is working somewhere, he does not belong to any church and will still want to show that is a member of this church. What we will expect the person who registered her child to do is that monthly the person must show financial commitment. It must be registered in the book. Bosumi Another month Utianetite. If there are issues that we need to stand, we will stand. If the person also attend church somewhere, but the person will still want to assist with, with Manhattan, we consider some of them as distant members. So that person, we don't expect the person to be paying regularly. But for example, annual harvest, we are paying 300. We, uh, occasionally the person comes, he comes to church. The person's name will be on our record, but the person will be considered a distant member. But if the person is a regular member, I want to see the person at least once a month. Sometimes they say, Nipa Nibiti living. Living, no? O Nipa Nibeti Miyako Ghana. O Beti Miyako Eye. O Beti Miyako Bebiya. And so we're living. Edua Soria or Masori. And in that one, we are taking, in fact, those who are living, me fre fre o. E yinyasi ye send a message, we will send message. E yinyasi so for friend, no one in the bonpai, we live in one in the bonpai. But you must show a commitment to the church. Me pamucho, sa sorry na ye ye ne sa, 
obi abekwa adwuma obi abeye bibi obekko ba bia ye but when it comes to church some people at funeral you see them at other ceremonies you see them but church you don't see them i will take notice of it say basa i've said it and benifwa pene so say so when the person is treating god like that and treating the church like that obi beka si wait here I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to. So I say, I say, I say, I will not commit the church to come and stand with you because you don't also respect the church and you think want to take the church for granted. You cannot take God for granted, and we mean business about this. Oh, my mother, you have a corner. You know, I'm back home. Now, Safuni, you ready? Jesus Christ today. Now, say, you need to be inside. Amen.